Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cuz Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Von Goring Lover, but um, here's where we're at. 1942. Um, Third International is actually not doing so well. The Germans actually did really well. Of course, we sent planes to uh, the German Empire to help them out and beat up some enemies and such like that, but they're doing pretty darn well so far. Um, we went to war with the Ottoman Empire, as you can see, we now have the Byzantine Empire. And I basically took all the rest of Africa, for the most part. And, uh, yeah. The Reichsback's looking pretty darn thick. But I did want to do, like, all the other focuses first before we kept going on, so. But, as you can see, I did pretty much all these, except this one for now, as well as the war economy. So, we're preparing for the worst. It's not a secret that Goring's reforms have angered many powerful people and that they are seeking to openly dispose of them. Indeed, his rule is on a precipice and it could come to a close to ending. As well, the majority of the continent is on the verge of open rebellion. It is now clear that Goring is the only thing preventing German rule in Africa from collapsing entirely. The worst is to come, we must prepare. This marks the point of no return, which I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll see. I would like to do de direct rule from Dar es Salaam, but everything else is kind of blacked out, except for the stuff on the right. So I guess we'll do the Africa division, so. I don't know what's going to happen. Return Byzantine lands. Uh, do they have claims on this? No. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. We're gonna keep all this stuff. Super events. Uh, Twelve is not bad. Nine is okay. Sixteen is pretty darn good. Seven is okay, not great. Uh, so five is pretty bad. Um, we can do this stuff too, but I didn't want to lower any more stability since we need as much stability as possible currently. Return Nigerian lands. Nope. I guess we're still technically at war with the Third International. The Russian Labor Republic is about to die. The Union of Britain is still alive, unfortunately. And we're finally the Prosperity Sphere, so it kind of sucks overall. And the Spanish Civil War in 1942 is still raging on. So, you know, go figure. But hopefully nothing bad happens to us soon. Kenyan, Uganda, and Free State. Ooh, nice. Um, oh, Von Epp is over here, too. Nice. And Zambia, Stoles, Nigerian Free State. We have Bernard H. Bodilin. In Deutsche West Africa, we have Arnold Hudson. So, um, French, there's a lot of French settlers. Wow, that really sucks. British settlers sucks too. Contemporary British. Well, what about the Germans? West African Army, British focused. Wow. Survive, adaptieren, surmonter. More war support, and they also have African Navy. How great for them. So, we're just kind of sitting here hanging out, and very soon we'll see what the next step will be for us, whether we have to use cons commands or not. So. And you know what? We're gonna wait to get that one done first, and then we'll see. Um, so yeah, a lot of the technology is already done, which is great. We're still building up some civvies, a lot of roads. Resistance is well, relatively minimal. At least in most of what our part of Africa up here is pretty god awful. Oh my gosh, seven percent is really bad. But you know, it is what it is. Um, where are you guys at? Here, you guys come up here. Deal with these guys. Deal with these upper African states and whatnot. The lower portions can deal with it, so and we'll talk about African Divisions Program, as well as the war economy. Even though we don't need any more war support, we could release more stability, which is barely going up now. War is inevitable, and time is precious. In the Valkyrie, we gained a great advantage by mobilizing faster than the British in Africa. We'll be the first to mobilize in the next war as well. Uh, let's go look see what's on this side, too. Afrikanisches Fliegerkorps. So and establish your own dedicated air corps separate from Germany's own air force, an undefeated army. In seven years of warfare, we've never faced defeat. We must perpetuate this... Proud military tradition. At the back, okay? I see how it is. So. Go ahead. Give me a call. Nelson. Oh boy, we're doing these well. Hopefully, no one else does anything stupid here. Farmers cooperate with the policy as they should. It's a little ahead of time, but I don't really care. Um, no, we're not going to return stuff. African Divisions Program. Uh, to provide real support to Germany from her seat in Middle Africa, we must provide them with well-trained African divisions. Oh, crap. Do this, we will start the African Divisions Program, which will train men to fight in the European front. For Kaiser Vatelan. It's alright, we did this earlier, that's why we don't have everything cored, so... Just get in there as fast as you possibly can, and we should do okay. Well, oh, they're still fighting the Civil War, aren't they? Oh! Oh god, that's going to be very laggy then when that happens. So these guys should be gone. Finish these guys out. And they're gone. So I'll do a lot of this. We're probably going to pop up a lot of stuff here and hopefully kill them all off. 
And now we're going, I had to use cons commands because we have to be at peace for this one, but direct rule from Dar es Salaam. The decentralization of our administration has caught untold problems and has made a rule as fragile as paper. Middle Africa must be forged in blood and iron, and the first steps are centralize the continent under Dar es Salaam. Because we avoided the, the collapse when we took out everybody here that we needed to, and that, by doing that last book so we, I just read, we integrated pretty much, or at least annexed, uh, all of those puppets. So, uh, secure loyalty by force. So, still dare to oppose Goring's rule, both in Middle Africa proper and the vast Netherlands. Thus, this cannot stand. It's time to make an example of anyone who dares oppose the will of the Stah Hitler. And the Stah Hitler is called the personality. Uh, having von Goring is not the, uh, the standard colonial bureaucrat, nor is he the same as the useless figureheads that do the bidding in Berlin. Goring is Africa's sovereign, the unquestioned leader of the region. He saved Middle Africa from collapse, and he will be properly glorified for it. So, before I read the next focus, I do want to show you that we did quite a few divisions, 112-ish um, divisions in total when we integrated everybody. So, I don't want to have 112 divisions because it makes the game lag and we don't need that many to be just as effective-ish. So, I'll take these Ascar divisions out. It's 41. There's a lot of cavalry divisions as well. It's 20 combat width with a lot of support equipment. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of those 9 divisions as well. I mean, obviously, I don't want a tiny army, but still. 23, that's interesting. That's a very interesting type of division. Um, throw them over here, too. And then these guys. Ooh, we can actually use Marines. You know, I'll keep the Marines for now, too. And anyone else motorized? Uh, I've been convinced. Sure, why not? Kampfgruppe, there you go. The rest of you guys, you know what? Screw it. You're doing that too. And then you are all going to become that African show? Divisions. And actually, it saves a little bit of manpower as well. 16, 6, 2, there you go. Missionaries arrive as we are lacking stuff. Support comment, but whatever. We're going to assume the title Viz. Oh, Viz Kunig. The Stahetler is not merely a bureaucrat fulfilling a government role. We already have established that he is not accountable to Germany and it is now important to establish that he is co equal to the highest authority in Africa. The Kaiser has given the Viz Kunig a secret trust in Africa. The Viz Kunig's word is the same as the Kaiser's. We lose stability, but look at how much stability we have. Plus 50% because we're sitting in the army now, too, which is really good. Let's make Middle Africa into a nominal puppet of Germany, giving us greater autonomy. We lose stability, but we'll have over 50% by the time we're done here, too, so I'm not worried. And the Afrikanische Reich. Under Goring, Middle Africa has progressed past the wildest dreams of those who established it. We've gone further than any colony, yet longer uh, a mere possession or land grab. We are like none other in the German sphere, and as of now, we're no colony. Middle Africa is a vast empire, just like the Vatalan itself, and will be treated as such. Or die, be di or die trying, really. Um, do a bell. Let's see. Aika. Goring loyalist? Well, he better be. Uh, over here, new plantation. I love plantations. Especially with an involuntary workforce. Fritz? Yes, Fritz. Go oh, and Rommel, huh? Well, oh. Steiner. Absolutely. And these Marines. So they should all come down here-ish and just train because we're lacking uh, a lot of support equipment. That's all right. Not a problem right now. I want more army XP. But we're sending the army. We Also, South Africa did join the Reichspact as well, so it kind of sucks for us, but whatever. Oh, we have a carrier. We actually have a capital ship finally. Look at that. Nice. Is it going to be any good? Well, we'll see. But after this one, stand is one. Uh, we're at war and we're in the power. And we're power. In the wake of the war. The Vatalan calls, and we will answer not as a colony, but a secret ally in the fight against godless cynicalism. And we will fight them in the field, not under the command of the Heer, but under our own command and on our own terms. We are our own sovereign entity, and the forces of Berlin can no longer order us around, on par with the Kaiser. It's not good enough that the word of Goring is as good as law in Africa. The Kaiser and the Staat Hitler must act as equals in affairs of geopolitics. We shall have complete independence from Berlin, and Goring shall act as supreme leader, not tied to the decision of the Reichstag or the Kaiser. Nice. Even though we're not a puppet of them, I think, anymore, but I could be wrong. And then the Stratler's Greater Africa Plan. Oh. Oh, that's crap. Oh, I don't want to do this. So I'll probably do that one in just a little and bit, And now, everyone, I'm sure I tried to do this earlier, but Goring's domain is not just a land taken by the Kaiser after the First World War, not. The true domain of the Stratler is much greater. Any fool could tell that all of Africa's ours by right of conquest, and we shall take them at any cost. When we are finished, Africa will be our continent beyond any doubt. So we're not going to go to war with everybody, but we'll go to war with quite a few of these guys, but I guess we'll do uh, bomber aircraft. The development of bomber aircraft is paramount to importance for African warfare. So, we're getting ready to invade Ethiopia and Somalia. And we're going to get Djibouti. Uh, the Russian Empire, I guess, exists now. It is what it is. 
Um, mercenaries arrive. That's nice. Come over here. Do that. And after that one, I guess, well, as we'll finish up this campaign, improved airfields? Our airfields are in terrible condition. We must improve them if we are to become an air power. Development of the Flussischkeit Brandbombe. Traditional bombing tax have limited use in the dense foliage of Africa. The thick vegetation jungle requires a new weapon, the Flussischkeit Brandbombe, the liquid fire bomb. <clears throat> its effect on enemy combatants is as horrific as it is effective. Nice. Uh, African air industry, it's time to develop our own homemade air force industry so we're no longer relying on hand-me-downs from Germany. Jet aircraft. We must have adapted to the latest developments in aerial warfare. Pilot endurance training. Regular training for pilots will not be enough Afri in Africa. The vast distances and extreme conditions require pilots of the highest caliber able to operate effectively even during the longest missions. Training and preparations will be key. African pilots. Mercenary pilots. Well, we don't have enough white German pilots to fill our air force. There is no choice but hire mercenaries for the job versus. We don't have enough. Oh. We don't have enough German, white German pilots to fill our air force. So we must recruit Africans for the job. Um, I like that, but we'll probably go with mercenaries. <clears throat> For no reason. Uh, who are we not at war with? Uh, yeah, I don't feel like it. Good to go. Are you guys all over here? Yeah, they are. Farmers cooperate with the policy. So I converted a lot of the divisions that we had over here. And, uh, yeah, they should be doing okay. Uh, we definitely need more planes. Yes, planes. Um, go with that and then go with some casts. If we have any. And let them come out and double it. Well, double whatever we can grab. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Well, the ones we don't want, naval bombers, look at all this extra stuff. Just clogging up the area. Naval bombers, that's fine. Attack bombers, goodbye. Uh, I just rectified all these guys, but whatever, we'll take them anyways. Whatever. And let's see what happens. You guys actually do anything here? Uh, you guys. Get them from several different sides? Sure. Call them in. Why not? See what happens. 100,000. Manpower ish. Uh, 4,000 losses. 18,000. The Valkyrie has shown utility to be an important part of warfare, and, we, and ours must be as good as any others? Yeah, pretty much. Russia pledges in a civil war. Did they already do that once? Huh. Okay. Whatever. It is what it is. Hey. Nice. At least the Navy can do a little bit of something. Hey, this couple divisions cut off. This is very good. Are we perfect? Not by any means, but whatever. Addis Ababa. 25,000 versus 7,000. 60,000 in total. Not bad, not bad. Could become a spy master as well, but probably not. Well, they're attacking us too, huh? Alright. It's a capital right there. We'll get them eventually. I'm not super concerned for vampire. We can always get more. Service by requirements. Not a big issue to get, so. That was going to be a pain in the butt to kill off, isn't it? Yeah, way more support equipment, though. Oh, they're running out of manpower, which is good to see. Come on, get rid of Somalia. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's when they got rid of them. Nice. Let's move 
all right here. Hold there. Finish these guys off here. That'd be great. Oh, okay. A little ahead of time, but I don't really care. Nice. Not really much else after this one, I guess. It's really these guys, the French Social Republic and Liberia. Or, you know, Canada, whatever. America's a mess, good God. Just a little bit of time and then we'll get started uh, around page two here. Three. I'll go ahead. Screw it. Why not? There's their support scheme defense. It's fine. Whatever. Straight up absolute air superiority. As long as we take Addis Ababa, that's all I really care about. the move anywhere. Really? Why do we need that stupid tile? That literally makes no sense whatsoever. This is so stupid. How much remember do they have? Ah, oh, they went to extensive. And we're out ourselves. Crap. Yep, there you go. Let's wait. And then we'll force the attack if we can. If not, it is what it is. But I think we'll I'll finish this one off screen and then we'll get invaded so French social and Republic. Now well well you take out Ethiopia, but the bigger news, Serbia got thick. Uh, third Valkyrie is kicked off against Serbia. It's thicky, thicky, thick. Um, Germany actually invaded the Union of Britain, so they did actually really well. So there, here they are, and now Canada just went to war with them. And we're basically going to be at war with this French Social Republic because they're in the Entente. So let's go ahead and have a good old time. And Merc Pilots, yes please. He was going to come to this anyways. Um, we're doing alright. Yeah, we lost a lot of dudes. Fire in frickin' Ethiopia. I don't like how the victory points are stacked, but whatever. It is what it is. We have a navy around here. It's not super great. Where are you guys at? Oh, sh Nikes. Yeah, you probably should pull back. Yeah, lost the destroyer, but I'm not super worried. Well, this is not gonna. Two, wait, we lost two destroyers in exchange for one. Not great, but you know. Okay, that could turn out a lot worse, in all honesty. It turned out a lot, lot worse. As we're just going to move in and just kill everyone off. As is tradition here on the channel. Because if we're not killing people off, we're not having fun. I'd love all juice with that. Excuse me, Byzantium. Uh, this is Middle Africa. This is our land. Whether you like it or not, just go for all the if we can. Uh, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? How are you still alive? Constitution American Republic? Wait, wait, I don't ask questions around here. I just take over land. Um, Fall of Algiers, nice. Not bad. How's the land, maybe? I don't know. Hey, Harper's gone. Very good. Yeah, overall, this campaign, though, pretty fun. I'm surprised. I think I've played this before by myself off screen. I'm trying to play it's just Deutsche Mille Africa and trying to the Gork path, and I guess Spain is still in the Civil War, whatever. Um, but I didn't have all those options where we could actually save Middle Africa and become our own little. You know, uh, Middle African strike. So, I like this. I like it a lot. Oh, crap. 
I still have peace conferences on. Um, take all states, no one cares. It's a lot of score. Honestly, not that much score. There you go. Woo. All right. She's going off here too, if you can. That'd be great. They're attacking us. They're going crazy. We've only lost 12,000 versus 72,000, which is pretty decent overall. Not perfect by any means, but it's pretty decent. Of course, we were like, we have a bunch of spies here too, so. I don't know why we have Gus. Fring. But that's alright. I like Gus. He's going to kill us. Uh, there you go. You know we had to do it to him. Nice. Well, we could take him out, but, you know, oh well. I mean, at this point, they'll get taken out anyways, but I think I'll end it here. It's been a lot of fun, but we got to move on. And, uh, yeah. Overall, I had uh, way more fun than I thought I would. Oh, this is ours. This is ours. Now that's much better. But, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. I hope you have a great, 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 goring rest of your day.